let me just make this absolutely clear to people like Liam Norton and other guests on the programme. Um, if you're going to be long-winded about stuff, but don't have, I don't have all the time. I wish I had all the time in the world. I've only got four days, four nights, yeah. three hours a night. Yeah, uh, and also I have to uh, play commercial breaks so that we can actually exist, which I love to do. Um, so don't go on about wanting to, uh, oh, you haven't let me get my piece out. I think we yeah. allowed Liam to say his bit. Yeah, the vast majority of the say in, in that. Yeah, yeah I thought, uh, you know, it was all about insulating Britain, but apparently it's about a lot more. Never mind. Uh, Shane Collins is also from Insulate Britain as a spokesman. Um, but now, Shane, you need to tell me, is this part of uh, Extinction Rebellion? Because I thought you were a different organisation. Uh, yes, evening, James Ash. Thanks, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, yeah, they are separate organisations. Um, and uh, there's some people who've been involved in both organisations in you know, Friends of the Earth, Greenpeace, Green Party, whoever, loads of different people who have been in different organisations are now getting involved with the Insulate Britain um, because we see this as well, we have to make rapid changes very quickly. We're facing a fairly... Uh, difficult time in our history let's say and, and we need to make changes very very quickly i mean you, right. you've heard now you're for you're a former green party uh councillor no i'm a current green party councillor oh, i you're got re-elected yeah i, I got re-elected congratulations in after the show congratulations <laughs> yes, i well lost done. 15 elections before i eventually got elected <laughs> well. the last two well, times there we are that, that you yeah. know that just goes to show that uh, the the harder you try the more likely you are to succeed yeah. never quit um why do you yeah. why do you think why do you think that Britain generally, because the government are, are trying to force, you know, electric cars on us and various other things that I think will just be a complete nuisance because when the batteries in the electric cars fail, where are we going to get rid of them all? It'll be almost impossible. Yeah. But that's another story. Why do you think the majority of people in Britain don't seem to be following this, this you know, climate change um, emergency? Well, m most people have got loads of other things on their mind whether it's working two jobs three jobs bringing up kids looking after parents whatever it is you know people don't all change their thinking at once um and there, there was a lovely quote i read from einstein the other day of those who uh, have the privilege of knowing have a duty to act and and i think you know the science around climate change not only is fairly complicated but it's fairly terrifying, and I think it puts a lot of people off. And it's, yeah, but it's, let me let me, hang on. Let, let, I've let, been let me sorry because I don't. 30, have, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I don't have I don't have an enormous amount of time. Nobody in the media does. So when I interrupt you, it's it's to get more from you, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Um, so yeah. just just tell me exactly because I've been doing this job for a long, long time. And ever since the 70s, we've been told, oh, you know, the uh, oceans are rising. That was the ice uh, age in getting... the 70s. It was the 80s. Well, it was the, the ice age, age in the 70s. Yeah. Was coming in the 80s, back, yeah. it began. But the, 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 the oceans have been rising, has been uh, uh, all ongoing. Uh, a few years ago, we were told, well, in, in, in 10 years, uh, the planet will be almost impossible if we do something now. And we're all still here. Um, eventually, the climate will change. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just wondering what it is you think. Because people use this thing, we'll heal the planet, we'll oh. save the planet. But, of course, this isn't true because the planet will basically do what it wants to do. Yeah, other things like volcanoes stop, happen. Think, yeah. Yeah. We could stop we're, polluting we're, it. I'm all for that. Yeah. But what do you actually we're, think you would achieve? We're, we're, we're not talking about saving the planet. We're talking about saving ecosystems of all species, including humans. Yeah, but the planet you know, will the decide moment, on that. At the moment, there are, the, the planet not will you. carry on. You know, maybe mice or rats or cockroaches to take on. The planet will carry on, but I like humans. You know, I want humans to carry on. And the really? way we're going at the moment, uh, the way we're going at the moment, there is a big danger that the government is knowingly and willingly going to lead us into disaster. Economic well, that's ridiculous. The government are doing everything they economics can. Economics depend The government on are the doing everything they can, Shane. They're doing everything they can. To, to, to make us greener. They want us to be carbon neutral in such a time. There is a, the majority of the oh, people James, in this country just James, want to carry on. James, 
James. That's uh, my I name, think yeah. That's a my name, Shane. I'm glad a, you've a got, journalist got it. Of, of your experience shouldn't necessarily believe the press release. The government talks a fine game. I haven't seen a press in release. Terms of, in terms of action, look what's happening at the moment. We've got road, roads expansion. Virtually Great. every airport in the country roads. wants to expand. We've got new yeah. oil fields <laughs> being expo explored for. We've got yeah. HS2. We've got new coal mines. You know, the question is whether the government HS2 is HS2 must be amazing. It's going to take people off the road. You'll be happy over for that. The edge. Yeah. That, and so what are you going to do? Shane, to Shane, you're mm. going to have to listen to me or we're going to run out of time. <laughs> What are you going to do? I mean, this this ridiculous situation you've got at the moment where you're stopping the traffic. And may I also say I've already castigated the police for their in, inability to remove the pillocks like you who are doing it because you're stopping oi, people like me, oi, him, everybody else going about our business. Oi. And the public are not, don't owe me, and the public are not going to have this much longer. I can tell you that now. So do you really think you're going to do get you your message know? across in this do way you, do you know the people who are going against huge amounts of public opinion sitting in the road these are decent people if you, no, you're if not. you just go you're idiots to, if you just, you're not a decent you person to, sitting in the middle of the road me, stopping people speak, going to hospital stopping people from earning a living speak, please if you would like to see who these people actually are it's as difficult as going to be people like you, you I imagine. Or well, the guy Britain, we talked to before, Liam get, Norton, the ex Sparky. Get, you will get testimonies from these people. These are retired doctors. These are GPs. These are I retired don't care who they are. Officers. Ash, do you what care? I should know about, you know, players. better about these stopping are priests, people. But what do you say to people who have stopped getting who are the hospital? Who, who are, of this did society. You say but, and if you don't listen to them. Yeah. You know, but what, what about people who are stopped going to hospital who, who die from not getting a hospital who are paralysed from getting a stroke? Do you say nobody it, has died? Well, there's nobody well, we don't know died. that, do we? Because people the will have died who may be died are eight and a half thousand people every year. You don't know, no one's died. Cold. A woman was paralysed today because she was delayed six hours. I think you hours. would have told us, I think you would have told well, us if they had the people who are dying, eight thousands of cars and emergency every services. Single year. Will be. Because of cold, damp. What about the people who were involved in a in a people? But let's say no one's died. But what if someone does die? Can can you let me speak? Well, I'm trying to ask you a question. I'm trying to ask you a question. I'm trying to answer the two questions. You're just saying no one's died. But what if someone does die? Would you stop then? I didn't say nobody died. I said eight and a half thousand people are dying every year. No, from your blocking the motorway, from blocking the road, from cold and damp. We're not interested in that. Millions of people at the moment in America, in Europe, you are here to justify what thrown into confusion. We are trying to stop. Do you want me? Do you want me to tell you? Do you, you're not. There's no major catastrophe except the one you're trying to cause. And all you're going to do is turn people away from cleaning up the planet and you are going to make them so angry, well, they are angry now, about people like you, that they're not going to continue to support any ideas the government throw at us. We would just say no. Because if you completely disregard other people's rights to their freedom, there will be absolute carnage and you will cause it. So I suggest James, to you and your priests James, and your doctors and your head teachers and all those of you who think these you are superior are the to the rest of, of us. Country and you are denigrating them. Rollocks. These people are good, decent people who are prepared to You're make talking a stand rubbish. to get arrested. To you go, are to talking go to jail rubbish. Necessary, and you are denigrating I can't talk them. to him. These are good, you are talking rubbish. People. You, they're not decent people. I don't care whether you're a headmaster, doesn't mean you're a decent if you person. If you're a doctor, you don't have to be a decent person. If you're a priest, well, I won't tell you what my thoughts are on religion, but I you just think you are YouTube completely warped, man. You can listen to their testimonials. Okay? I've listened to you your listen testimonies. To I'm sick of them. Now stop gluing yourself to the road. Go away somewhere else. Most of the population couldn't give a stuff about you. And if the police don't stop removing you fairly quickly, then I'm very sorry, but people are going to start taking the law into their own hands, which I don't want. And that is what you're going to cause. You're going to cause a form of anarchy. Is that what you want? We are trying to stop a form of anarchy because if the climate continues to collapse, law and order, the economy will break down in this country and many others. 
you must see that is on the cards. You are focusing you are on the short term. You need to be looking at the long term thinking. People may be clever, but Nobody they're not always wise. Nobody is going with what you're doing. Do you not realise from the publicity you've been getting that the majority of people in this country think you're completely stupid doing what you're doing? And you're not actually making... Think, you know, the people who do that, this no. are not upstanding people in society because they happen to have they a job that you think are. is a very sensible job. No, they're not. They absolutely are. I would no, I can assure you they're not. Well, you look on social opinion, media after think, this, and I, think, I imagine you I will find in, a lot of people will tell you. You're not getting the public I with you, though, are you? I think in 20 years' time, I think maybe even in 10 years' time, maybe even five years' time, the people who are putting their lives on the road at the moment and risking going to get arrested and jail will be looked on a whole load better because they are the people who did something. All right, are we you are really facing that stupid? a cataclysmic. Are you really prospect. that stupid and inane that that's what you think? I can't believe that a man who suggests that he is intelligent enough to become a local councillor believes <clears throat> some of the rubbish, Shane, that is coming out of your mouth. Listen to David King, the ex governor. Oh, don't keep Chief telling me about David King. He is a, no consequence. He's not on the, the show. UN. You are. Listen to the head of the UN. Listen to. Any the United scientist. Nations, the honestly, IPCC I don't think we want to listen to them. I'm going to be cut off now. Online, on DAB, and on the Talk Radio app. Talk Radio.